don't think she was a great rapper. I don't even think she was all that good of a rapper. But I will say that she does look like a star. Say what she want to about Iggy Azalea, but she does have the look of a star. Like, she just looks like a star. This tall-ass white girl, thick, with the big butt, good hips, pretty face. She looks good as fuck in her clothes. Like, just great in her clothes. Like, she looks good in her clothes the way black people look good in our clothes. Like, that, that's some shit that's just natural talent. For a white woman, that's some, nat- that's some talent. That is, I always say this right now, I hate to be racist, but y'all know... Y'all, first off, we all know, can't nobody wear clothes like niggas. That's just our thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the color. I don't know. But she can wear them colors, like, nice. And and she's a nice person, too. Like, she actually is a really nice person. Like, when I've seen her, because I watched a lot of her interviews. I watched a lot of interviews that she did. And she really she really does look seem like a nice person. And like, genuine. She just, nice person, just doesn't make good music. And that's, and that's one thing. And that's one thing we got we to gotta stop. We got to stop doing just because we dislike one aspect of a person doesn't mean we have to dislike everything about it. Like, okay, like, like, like we got an issue with that. Like, say for example, like, um, give me a prime example. There was this one really popular comedian out there named Whitney Cummings, and Whitney come Whitney Cummings, Whitney Cummings. I hate that name, but you know, she her stand up comedy to me at best is I I don't like her stand up comedy that best but when I hear her on a podcast I do listen to her because I think she has a I think she has an interesting perspective on things I can take one aspect of her go back to the I'm just stupid I'm gonna get the curve straight but I think I think I think I, you, you you can like one aspect of a person and not like the other one. Prime example, Chris Brown. I like Chris Brown's music. I love Chris Brown's music. I love his artistic painting. I love his I love his clothing line. Hey y'all, hey y'all, y'all, all serious, all serious before I hop in the career chain. Y'all need to really check y'all hey, that ain't ugly. Well, I don't think she ugly, but it's just difference of opinion. Y'all really need to go look up um look up what's that boy's name? Look up Chris Brown's uh, clothing line, Black Pyramid. His shit is fire. His shit is fire. Like it's expensive, but it's fire. I will, I'm thinking about buying, spending a, a drop a couple hundred on this stuff. This stuff is actually hella nice. Like I'm, I was really surprised. Like, wait, what's I gonna say? Yeah, Karucha. Yeah, back to Karucha. Um, Karucha. I really don't have that much to say about. It. I mean, she's a dude that he dated for. She's a girl that he dated for a few years. I don't like the B to B. I don't like the B to B side of him though. I don't think nobody agrees with that side of him. I don't think anybody agrees with Chris Brown's recreational <laughs> activities with beating women. I think nobody has agreed with that. But I think at the same time, man, he's just here's the thing about Karuche. Karuche, 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 Kawasaki, Kunzabak, wherever her name is. I think she's famous because she dated Chris Brown, and that's it. She's a pretty girl that dated Chris Brown. That's it. It is what it is. Now, what she would have been without Chris Brown in the picture is like asking what Smokey Robinson, Gladys Knight, and the Supremes would have been without Barry Gordy in the picture. You just, it's just, I don't like playing the hypothetic scenario. At best, I think she might have been an Instagram model without Chris Brown in the picture. I don't know what success she's garnered by herself besides was she a model or something before? She might have been a model or something before. She might have been. I, I know she's a model now, but once again, everybody's a model. You got to understand, first off, he started dating Karuche in L.A. I don't know if you've ever been to L.A., but everybody's a model in L.A. Everybody's a model in LA. Everybody, everybody, like everybody's a model. Everybody's an actor. Everybody's a rapper. You go to LA, they get literally there's talent. There's lost talent just walking the street. They, you, they always talking about who's gonna be the. I'm always, I'm always on there talking about who's gonna be the next Bruno Mars. Who's gonna be the next Beyonce? They, if you want to find the next Beyonce, Bruno Mars, they go to the homeless shelter in LA. They there in the flocks. Trust me, because everybody go out there to be a star. Everybody goes out there to try to be famous and make it out there and. For some it works, for some it doesn't work. You know, it is what it is. I mean, granted, nowadays it's different because you got the internet now. You really don't have to travel somewhere to be a star. Nowadays, you can literally just put yourself online and see the whole world see you. It's just as different. But I don't know what she would have been. And she's making great use of. She's great. Man, she's great. She's making great use of it. I mean, hell, she she got she had she was a one of Park and effed that up. She 
like a clothing line or makeup or something like that. I don't know. Like she just it happens, bro. It happens all the time. That she's not she's not the first she's not the first girl who got famous just because of dating somebody. That's literally the whole She's not the first woman who got famous for for sucking a celebrity's dick. That's literally the whole reason why love and basketball exists. What happened to 106 and Park? I think it still comes comes on, but it's like an online show on BET. You know, ain't nobody watching that. It's on BET. I I didn't email them and told them a thousand times. I didn't email them and told them that I would let it be on that show. I remember 106 and Park when they were going through that phase where they they were just now about to get rid of Terrence J and Roxy. Who I love, by the way, and I remember that I. I wanted to go in that competition to try to be a host on there. Cause every and every host they had after that sucked. Bow Wow wasn't that good. Bow Wow was too rigid. Bow Wow was too rigid. Like he was too rigid. He was too rigid. I didn't like Bow Wow on there. Karuche. I don't remember watching Karuche on there. I just remember they, they fired her ass after that Beyonce's child nappy hair comment she made. Um this um who else out there? They you you had some you you, you had some good you had some good dudes on there. I think it's just he has some terrible, he has some terrible talent on 106 and Park. But my favorite, my favorite overall when I watched it, my favorite on 106 and Park overall was Terrence J. For those of y'all who don't know what Terrence J. Uh, front of 106 and Park is, 106 and Park was this a program that used to come on Black Entertainment Television for Negro children, and we all used to enjoy it and watch it. Karuchi was like, wait, that was Karuchi that made a comment about Beyonce's daughter? It was, it was Karuchi, it was Karuchi, it was her, but. She made her a comment because she did, like most celebrities who don't have any creativity, who don't know how to hold a freaking conversation do, she read off of the prompter, she read off of the teleprompter, the prompter behind the audience, and was reading that, and reading that, and one of the guys that wrote a joke about Beyonce's daughter's hair, and, this, you know what, it, you know, I don't want to say that because that's that's being too arrogant. I'm not gonna be arrogant, but it just it just was. It is sad. It it is. You know when you see dudes like Ryan Seacrest, when you see dudes like Nick Cannon host America's Got Talent, The Voice, when you see dudes like that be a host on shows. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. That these dudes have been doing this for a while, but they're actually talented at it. Just keep in mind they're actually good at what they're doing. I think sometimes when it comes to areas like podcasting, even even podcasting, hosting anything in communication, they think they can just throw in anybody to represent who just has some type of fame. And really, you can because it does work. But Karuche being there was a type of Karuche being there. Shout out that Madonna was there with you. Karuche being in front of that camera and effing that was an example. Of what I always said. Just because somebody is famous does not mean they should be entitled to have every other job that's available in Hollywood. You know, that's something that's something you even learn. I even learn now. Like you got a lot of these dudes now in Hollywood who like even like acting. It always fascinated me how you could have a guy you could you could you could have a guy you could have a guy who's like a rapper who raps. His thing was rapping. He got into this game by rapping. And he can somehow because he's a rapper, because he's famous, he can get a role in this movie. Even hi Madonna, you doing, baby? He can get a role in this movie simply because he's famous, not because he knows how to act. He's never acted a day in his life, like Will Smith and Fresh Prince. Will Smith had never acted, but he got a role in Fresh Prince. Now, granted, it worked out perfectly. That's a great circumstance because it worked out perfectly. That was I love Fresh Prince. That was great. Like that was a good example. That was a really, really, really good example. That was a really good example. But I think the different. I think the difference is is. Right, like Chainsaw, Trey Songs, and I think it was Chainsaw Massacre. I never saw that one. I know what you're talking about. I know what the movie you're talking about, but I didn't get to. See, I didn't get to see it. And, and it's not to say he might not have had them. I just didn't get to see it. I'm trying, let me give a good example. Let me get a. Let me give a good example. I'm trying to think of a good example where it, where it totally didn't work out. Let me think. You know what? Prime example: Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum is a good example. Ch- Shout out to Laura Zero Three Three. How you doing, baby? Welcome to the Periscope. Um, Channing Tatum is a good example. Channing Tatum is a good example. Channing Tatum, good looking guy, great model, good dancer. I actor. I actor. I actor. He's like, he's like, he's like, hello, hey, como tu vendre? Bonjour. I, he's an I actor. Like, Channing Tatum, good looking guy, great model, I actor. It happens sometimes. You know, and it's not, it's, it just happens so. 
I don't know, man. I, that was just niggas, and I was. I just thought about that. Like, I, I just was like disappointed. Like, why? Because I kept thinking, like, why would you even put Karuche? Like, what would you make you think that Karuche would be a great host of One Us in the Park? Como te lo va? Speak a little French. Oh, what's up? Hey, y'all. Look at Ronnie out here trying to get some play. K S X. Hey, how you doing, baby? K X X Y M. What's up? How you doing, baby? Welcome to the Periscope. Um, yeah, man. It's it's. I don't even know why you would put Karuche is why would you even think Karuche would be a good spokesperson? Like I just I just don't think it'd be I just don't think it'd be a good idea. Like huh? five minutes? Why? Why? So But it's sometimes and once again let me just say this. Sometimes it is good to diversify yourself because sometimes it works. Sometimes it does work for you to step outside your boundaries. Like even like with I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me do, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show you the guy who's who's starting all this issue. Like, oh, oh, now he want to move. Okay, <laughs> okay, now he wants to move. Okay, bastard. But um, like like Tyra Banks for example. Tyra, bastard. I love Tyra. I love Tyra Banks, and Tyra Banks had her own show, and it worked out for a while. It worked out for like three or four seasons because Tyra Banks is actually talented. Tyra Banks. I know. I know. Tyra Banks is actually talented. Tyra Banks actually knows how to talk with people. She knows how to have a conversation. She knows how to entertain. It's a little bit different versus with her um, versus with Karuche Kucherich is Karuche just Karuche just is boring. Like I don't even look at her. Let me stop reading. I'm gonna stop reading. I'm gonna stop reading. Um, thank y'all for listening right now. Uh, I gotta go. I might come back on here in a little bit, but uh, gotta go right now. They they kicking me out. I'll probably be back in an hour, though. Much love. Thank you. Thank you to those listening to the podcast. Thank y'all for those listening, having a good time. Thank y'all for joining me on my journey to suck.